In 20 minutes, we are going to be on TV. You may wonder how much of a difference small changes can make to help the environment. Well, some school children in Brookline, Massachusetts found the answer. They challenged each other to see which grade could cancel the most unwanted catalogs. Here at the Park School, their fourth and fifth graders are trying to cancel as many catalogs as they possibly can. I canceled 40 catalogs. I canceled 80 catalogs. I've been canceling so many catalogs that I broke my finger. 146 Park School students canceled 4,175 catalogs. It's very good for the environment. But who has time to call these companies and ask to have your name removed from their mailing list? You're probably thinking, not me. Well, many of the kids at Park School canceled their catalogs without ever picking up the phone. Instead, they used a new website that did it for them. We canceled 4,175 catalogs. I was so proud. When I got to school, I saw a huge truck with a humongous satellite top. When I got into the class studio, I saw lights and cameras all over the place. This is the video truck give me, give me, give me. when we're going to be on NBC. And it's really cute. There's a huge satellite on so we can talk to Anchor in New York. And then there's a wire going from the truck and goes up, up, up. Into our classroom. Into our classroom. And there's some more of the giant satellite. Yeah, I know, it's huge. So how do you feel about going on the Today Show today? Sort of nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi. <laughs> um. <laughs> Whoa. How do you feel about being on NBC News last night? <laughs> <laughs> No more unwanted catalogs. The students at the park school might be onto something. Canceling catalogs helps the earth. Cancel some catalogs today. <laughs> Chad Wells is the fourth grade teacher at Park School. Ted, good morning to you and your class. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Good morning. What gave you this idea, Ted, and how did your students respond to it? It sounds like they were excited. Uh, we got the idea originally last year, a secretary at the school, Bunny Healy, just started noticing sometimes 50 catalogs a day piling up, and it went right into the recycling bin. People didn't want them, they were unwanted, so a bunch of teachers got together and we started calling, calling in and canceling those catalogs, but we, we just couldn't keep up. Um, this year, another teacher and I uh, got together with a couple parents and we thought we'd, we'd come up with this challenge. And the, actually, all told so far, 4,175 catalogs have been canceled by your school. Izzy, you canceled 100 of those catalogs. What did you learn from that experience? I learned that it was much easier canceling on catalog cho choice than on phone. So when you cancel on the phone, you have to do like all these things, say your name and your address, and they ask you like a lot of questions, and you have to find customer service. So when you go onto Catalog Choice, you can just click on the catalog, put your name and address, and it's so much easier. Oh, that's really good. And, and Robbie, you know, you uh, basically uh, helped the environment. How? How much did you help the environment by canceling all these catalogs? And how did that feel? Um, it feels really good. And, um... You, uh, it helps the earth by, the, it takes energy, electricity, um, paper and water to make catalogs, and that burns fossil fuels, and the fossil fuels make greenhouse gases, which is very bad for the earth, mm -hmm. it makes a blanket around it, and it heats it up. I'm so impressed by how smart you guys are. Really, really smart. Ted, good job. How, how long does it take to the actually get the catalog to stop coming after you cancel it? It takes about ten weeks for that to happen. So it's it's uh, and uh, but but um, but they have to cooperate, right? Once you go on this website, the catalog companies have to cooperate. That's right. They have to cooperate, and and you know, you've, not every single catalog is listed, but you can actually suggest the one that you want to be listed. So I wanted to simply go back to Ted really fast and say thank you, Ted and Izzy and Robbie. And 
and, and hopefully will inspire other people to, to other schools maybe yeah. to get involved because we're going to basically say that if you if your school wants to see if they can beat the park school in catalog canceling <laughs> at the challenge, you can go to our website at todaystow.com for more information and we may just pick the school that wins that challenge. Well, now what if you want your TV. holiday? Great job, everybody. Super. Really great. Well done. That was excellent. Thank you. Give yourself a round. I got to school at 715. I found out it didn't even start at 815. So I really didn't actually have to get up at 6 o'clock. They did do it, right? That's what Miss Ann Curry asked us. And how everyone is in all of watching the Today Show is what I think. I was there because we were helping the earth. It was pretty cool to be on a worldwide TV show. But now I realize one of the most important things about this is not being on the day show, but it is just helping the earth. It's about canceling 4,170 catalogs, taking 2.5 cars off, 2.5 cars off the road, and that other schools try this challenge. Today's show, the Today Show is a big hit. Our, it said our Ted Wells catalog up to 1,365 people. Whoa! 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 Oh my god, that's so awesome! That's how 1,315! It just went up 200 just like in five seconds. Perfectly cut. That's all. That I'm just so proud of the kids. All the kids in my class, in Miss Ed's class, and, but in the whole, the whole school, I think they're uh, just doing amazing things with this catalog challenge, with their recycling, with uh, the way they go home and talk to their parents, the way that they just care. So uh, this is a day where a teacher is very proud of these kids. Juice fees were Giant satellite, yeah, I know it's huge. Yeah, I know it's huge. Yeah, I know it's huge. I'm